Hello, nonfiction and STEM fans. This is Kirsten Larson. I'm the author of Woodwire Wings, Emma Lily and Todd Invents an Airplane, and the forthcoming A True Wonder, the comic book hero who changed everything. And today I am reading the latest installment in Lily Williams If Animals Disappeared series. This one is called If Bees Disappeared. And here's the thing I love about nonfiction. There are so many different ways to convey similar information. So Candy Fleming recently um, wrote an amazing book called Honey Bee, which um, was a fascinating kind of day in the life um, or life cycle of the honey bee. Um, and Lily tells a similar um, story, but it's a different slice of the story. So she's really focused on um, colony collapse disorder and what would happen if we no longer had bees. Um, this is a great cause and effect book. So if you're a teacher doing lessons on cause and effect structure, um, this is a perfect book for that. So she, Lily starts off the book, um, this is Kent, a historic county in the United Kingdom. Kent is known as the Garden of England for its rolling hills and lush landscapes. The creatures that live here are fluffy, sneaky, spiky, and small. So she starts off um, giving us a little bit of information about um, honeybees, about um, how they work together as a super organism that can't survive on their own. And then she talks a little bit about colony collapse disorder and goes through a bunch of scenarios about what would happen. So if honeybees disappeared, that's the first thing. And then she talks about what the effect is. Um, you know, it would, birds that eat fruit would disappear. If birds disappeared, then what would happen? So um, this is a great cause and effect book. The whole series is excellent for teaching cause and effect. And I would, I would pair this with a book like Honey Bee by Candy Fleming, where students can learn about um, an individual bee and its role in the colony, and then also learn about the plight of honeybees um, in the world. So this is an excellent book to add to your classroom library.